Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mangs, and I welcome you guys to part 9 of Let's Play Civilization V A Brave New World, playing as Wu Zaidan of the Chinese Empire. Let us continue our journey. So, in the last part, we uh, officially sued for peace with Pocatello. Fucking Jengish Khan uh, managed to perform a coup in Valera. He kicked me out of the city states, and with the city state gone, I couldn't continue my war against Pocatello because it was kind of my staging ground. I tried to take Pohoki, but. This is actually one of the rare cases where I regret opening Tradition. I should have opened Honor. If I had Military Tradition from the start, these Chukonu would have gotten plus one range. And the whole thing about China is you want to get enough experience, get plus one range, and then you can use the Chukonu to take cities. It's kind of how you do it with uh, Keshik uh, with um, uh, playing as Mongolia. The thing is, Keshik they earn their promotions 50% faster by default, so it's much easier for Keshiks to get the plus one range. And then you just use the Keshiks to take cities and... I couldn't do that. However, it's actually not going so bad. Um, Pocatello is naturally very, very strong. But um, I'm not doing horribly in terms of science. I am last, but I'm only 10% behind Pocatello. It's easily re remediable. I'm not sure how you say that. But I'm stealing technologies no, no, left, no, right, and center. I'm going to steal another tech in five turns. The Inca still haven't uh, noticed my spy, which I find hilarious. But I will need to go a point into rationalism, and I will need to build public schools. I do have Jesuit education in one of my cities. I would love to get this religion in all of my cities. I actually have a lot of different religions in my city. What is that other religion right there? That is Confucianism. So they get plus two faith from quarries, which is actually kind of funny, considering we have quarries. Yeah. We get plus two faith from that, and we will get two faith from this as well. Maybe we should just, you know, buy this tile. We're gonna take the deer patch next. We don't need to, though, because Nanjing is gonna do that. You know what? I think I'll do that. Well, not yet. And, uh... We want gems. I know someone who has gems. At least I... Ooh. Morocco has coal already. Yeah, Alexander has gems. Maybe we should actually buy some gems. We could use the extra happiness nice. anyway. Yeah, I think it's worth it to get We Love the King Day in two, two cities. Alright, let's go trade with Mosul Kani. And let's trade with Agadig. We're currently only trading with Pocatello, but that's fine. Beijing is actually growing very quickly. He wants to buy sugar. Uh, I think I'll hold on to that, actually, because I got a few declarations of friendship that I could... Uh, trade sugar for. Ugh, I don't like Pocatello's troop movements. That's actually a little bit nasty. I am confident I'll be able to... Um... Oh my god, look at Alexander's gold. That's sickening. Did I get both of the sugar? Yeah, I did. I'm gonna get another sugar tile as well. And iron. That's great. I'm gonna send these workers over to get the stone quarry though, because that's gonna give me two additional faith. And two additional faith... I am only getting 7 faith, though. I should get 6 from Uluru. And then, am I not working the quarry? I am not. I should be working the quarry. Yeah, and I'm earning 9 faith per turn. I should totally do that. Right, so let's talk, talk to the people we actually have a declaration of friendship with. It looks like I'm already... Um... Alright, I guess I can sell sugar to Alexander, then. Ah, cool. I'm pretty sure Bodica doesn't want sugar. No, she doesn't. Seven gold per turn is nice, though. Yeah, I should probably position my units a little bit wiser, because I think Pocatello might be gearing up for an attack. Research agreements? Don't mind if I do. You want as many as uh, of those as possible? Yeah, I'm, I'm not liking Pocatello's troop movements right here. That's actually just downright nasty, how he's moving his troops around. Alright, public school, that is going to be very important. We need public schools in all of our cities, like ASAP. Well, most of them, that is. We'll get public schools in 13 turns. Yeah, you know what, I'm actually gonna... Um, I'm gonna reorganize my... Uh, there's already a great general here. We should keep the great generals in the back, actually. We have three great generals, which is fantastic. I want my Chukonu in key locations. 
so that if Pocatello decides to attack, um, he can't take him out. But yeah, once I get public schools in all of my cities, which I hopefully will soon, things are gonna go a lot better. I am actually considering... Can I get work boats? Uh, Budik has become a nuisance. I thought you were already at war. I guess you weren't. Uh, I actually need a caravel. I should totally get a caravel in uh, Gangso. I'm actually gonna go... Do I have astronomy? I don't think I do. No, seven turns. I can probably steal it very soon, though. In two turns. I might steal astronomy, because I really want a caravel. Alright, now I got two sugar. I can probably sell that to... Uh, uh, I thought the Inca wanted to buy sugar. Yeah, they do. 222 gold per turn. Isn't that lovely? Alright, Shanghai. I think I am actually going to turn Shanghai into a unit production facility. And I actually want uh, a, a barracks in Gangso as well. Uh, we don't want to embargo China. I wonder if the Shoshone will get pissed at me for voting against them. I mean, they're trying to embargo me. I mean, what the fuck? But yeah, I should, I should totally bribe um, Pukatello into attacking Burika. Because I want him to expend uh, unit strength on her. Yeah, getting barracks and armory in uh, Shanghai and uh, Gangso is actually going to be very important. I need a navy at some point. I'm not sure if I can pass it through here, but I definitely need a caravel. I could attack... Uh, Ramka Hang might be, become dangerous at some point. Let's actually check how much uh, Morocco is actually generating a lot of tourism. Alright, we can still attack. And that's total... Oh, if I steal industrialization, however... That's going to be insane, but I won't be able to build any more Chukonu. Oh, that is tempting. Um, that is almost too good not to do. I could buy another Chukonu. Maybe. Uh, it's almost silly not to get industrialization when you can. I need my ideologies. Yeah, I'm gonna buy one last Chukonu. With gold. Like so. And that's gonna have to be it. So, any any coal? Don't tell me I'm gonna have to do an entire game without coal, please. Alright, we want this stoneworks because it's gonna give us faith. 320 gold for a Gatling gun promotion. That is just. Oh my god, that's insane. But hey, we'll at least have one, two, three, four, five Gatling guns with two attacks. And many of them with one extra range as well. So that's good. Even some with March. That's going to be very useful in the war against Pocatello. I wonder if I can get armories in Shanghai and Gangso before... Uh, I to These guys should totally attack each other. That's to my best interest, really. I want Lancers too. Oh my god, I need gold for so much. 78 gold per turn is quite nice, but it's not nice enough. I need more. I need to go for trade route boosting tax. Um, steam... Biology will give me a trade route. Uh, astronomy will not give me trade routes. Hmm, I have so much to do. And hardly any time to do it. The extra iron will help, though. Alright. Let's talk to Pocatello and see if he's interested in... Uh, See if he's interested in attacking no, Budica. He doesn't. Uh, it looks like I did not get embargoed. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't go through. That's good. You want to attack? What? Seriously? Well, I got iron for you. Six hundred. She won't give me six hundred gold for that. Five hundred gold. Four hundred and fifty. 400? 350? I can't actually remember how much iron is worth, but it should be worth something along. 250 gold is okay. Maybe we should just start upgrading so we get it done. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of gold spent on upgrading, but it's it's necessary. Might as well do it right now. We need to do it sooner or later eventually, so... Getting markets and banks in all of our cities would certainly help. Did I ever build a bank in Beijing? I did. 
And good thing I did, because that's going to be very useful. You always want banks in your capital, because your capital is going to be doing most of the trade routes. And that's always important. I really need to get my hands on coal and start working on uh, you know, uh, factories, though. That's going to be very important, actually. Almost more important than the public schools. Uh, so I should totally trade three pieces of coal. Uh, Alexander got three pieces of coal. How much will he, will he charge me? Five gold per turn and open borders? Sure. I am actually going to accept that. Because I need to st I need to build three factories, and the reason why I need to build three factories is to get my ideology. It's gonna take a lot of time, um, but it's gonna be worth it. At least I can faith by the university in Nanjing with uh, I am getting I will get plus eleven faith in next turn, so that's good. I can get myself my university. I am probably going to have to wait building the public schools until I can get the factories, though, sadly. But the factories are just so much more important. You, you need factories. Without them, you just don't have the production. Alright, factory, that's going to take 19 turns. Oh my god, 20 turns. That's harsh. Washaki! Probably going to take even longer in this city. But, it's required. It is strongly required. Only two iron from this tile. That blows. That is like super bad. I mean, come on. Two iron? It's hardly worth a tile. Right, Greece has denounced Morocco. Interestingly enough. Interesting that they would choose to do that. Yeah, I totally, I totally need a, um, I totally need a caravel. But it was too good not to, like, not stealing industrialization was ridiculous. I mean, you can't do that. Still 10% behind Pocatello. I should probably take a look at the cities, shouldn't I? I just need to do it during my turn, or else it won't matter. Well, Alexander doesn't like me. He likes to talk crap. He loves talking crap. That's what he likes to do best. My culture output is so stinky. I haven't even gotten the guilds. I should probably get the guilds. You almost never have time to get the guilds. Alright, factory 27 fucking turns. That's lovely. Alright, let's view the cities, shall we? Currently on wealth. Oh my god, did you look at that? And how is uh, the Incans doing? They're also on wealth. Why is the computer doing that? That's, that's that's such a weird AI decision. Why would you have your city generating money? That's that's almost never good. All right, Nanjing gonna grow to size four pretty soon. Hopefully, can get that uh, workshop done. I could set my cities to production focus to speed up the production of the factories naturally, um, but I want them to grow a little bit more before I do that. Beijing is actually growing very steadily, which I like. Nanjing just grew to size 4, that's great. Maybe I should go... I think someone cleared out this encampment. I saw Greek ships there earlier. And I can upgrade another uh, Chukonu now. That's good. Bum, ba, bum, bum, ba. Since we're at a part where it's a little bit... You know, not a lot of movement going on. I think I'm actually gonna uh, turn on quick movements because it does speed up the turns uh, quite significantly. The animations require a lot of CPU, so I like to have it on when I do when I do battle though, because uh, I'd like to see troop movements. But when for for periods like this, when it's not a lot of things happening and you're building like really slow buildings, like the factory. Alright, Greek has adopted the autocracy ideology. I actually haven't quite decided what ideology I want to go for. I'm thinking order. Or maybe autocracy as well. Alright, we need to get astronomy done so we can build some caravels. It's actually kind of important. We need to upgrade all of these. Gatlingans are amazing. They have as much rain, uh, melee strength as they got range strength, so they're really good on the front lines. That's kind of what they're designed for, really, to go on the front lines. 
Your disagreements with Jengish Khan. You want to attack Jengish Khan? Okay. Let's take a look at how the different guys are doing. Morocco expanding. Oh, that's Can actually. Uh, Morocco is actually uh, has actually taken a lot of land near Genghis Khan right here. They keep uh, Alexander is like he's a total dick to Ramka Hang. He's like boxing him in. That's actually hilarious. Twenty-two more turns until the factory is completed. Maybe I should just go ahead and build a plantation right here now. I'm actually gonna see if I can build a trading post on that pile. That would actually be hilarious. But I don't think I can. I'm pretty sure I can't. Alright, I got two more iron now. That I can sell to Boudica. She seems to like buying my iron. And I guess I could just chop some forests around Nanjing. I'm gonna chop them anyway, so... Chop some forests to speed up the production of this workshop. And now we have a stone quarry, which we should definitely be working. And uh, I'm gonna go build a farm, and we're gonna go chop some forests. The reason why I wanna work that stone quarry is naturally because I want the science. Yeah, yeah sure. I mean the faith. Wait, what? Ah, it doesn't have that religion anymore. <laughs> oh well. Get over it. Yeah, then I don't really wanna work this tile. It's kind of useless, actually. Wow, I'm actually running out of tiles very soon. Yeah, I'm actually gonna not work this tile then. But why would you work this tile? Oh, it's because it's on food focus. You totally should work this tile, though. That's like four hammers. Yeah, you totally should. Alright, let's chop here. Now, I can construct a plantation that will give me two extra food, but it will remove two science because of the jungle tile. I am not sure if I want that, to be quite honest. I think I'm just going to leave this worker here. Yeah, I actually don't want that. Jengish Khan is friendly, but he still chooses to smack talk me for whatever reason. Eleven more turns to the factory. Yeah, not working the iron mine is stupid. Sometimes you, you should take a look at your tile assignments from time to time because the AI have a tendency to do stupid things. Especially when I have the city set to food production. People who likes to smile the most. Pokachuti has 67 fucking happiness. Well, ain't that just swell? Let's work on a farm. I don't see any more improvements that I want to make around the city. I think I've improved every single tile that can be improved. So might as well put these workers to sleep. Chopping down the forests, that's going to give us a nice boost of production to the workshop. Gong So is going to, go, it's going to take us some time to finish this lat factory right here. After we're done with the factory, we're going to need to build uh, uh, some public schools. I'm half considering buying a caravel, actually. I should perhaps do that after I've, I've built the armory, though. Alright, we got, we got to promote some dudes. 320 gold, 320 gold. That's all the true canoes, I think. Let's get some lancers. Gonna upgrade the, the pikemen to lancers. It's gonna be a nice counter towards the uh, Comanche riders. Always nice to have some quick units. I do like lancers. They're good. Here we go. And after metallurgy, we kind of want to work our way up towards dynamites, I think. There's a lot of things we need, actually. Frigates would be awesome as well. But no, we want we want rifling, and then we want dynamites, so we can get artillery. And at that point, we kind of need to attack. Alright, we can steal yet another technology. That's going to be navigation, then. That's wonderful. Okay, perfect. That is actually super helpful. And the fact that I haven't been discovered yet is wonderful. No, 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 hey. Uh... I guess I could offer to sell him iron. No, 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 hey. I think I can get like 150 for that. No, 140 maybe, 130. Okay. Yeah, they're worth slightly over 50 gold per per unit. He has so much gold anyway. He doesn't. He doesn't really care what he spends money on, does he? Ramkhan Hang has made peace with Yerevan. Good for him. Another caravan. 
All right, he actually wants to give me coal, interestingly enough. I have a lot of iron now, suddenly, and he wants it. And he wants sugar. So how about I give you... Does he want eight iron or just five? No, he wants to buy all of it. Iron, uh, that's going to be 300, 600, 700 at least. That's a generous offer. I could have asked for more. Fuck. <laughs> but hey, that's a lot of money. I need a lot of money. I could have asked for more. Not much, not much more, but a little bit more I could have asked for. Oh, Pocatello is going for archaeologists. I'm not giving anyone open borders, because I know I got dig sites in my territory. Apparently I demand silver. Does anyone have silver for sale? There's a lot of silver here, but I'm not sure if I can get my hands on it, of any, on any of it, really. Alright, let's chop some more forests. 14 more turns until we get the workshop. 14 more turns until we get the factory. At some point we just have to turn our cities over to uh, max, uh, um, to maximum um, production focus and just churn out shits. Because we're going to need a lot of units to go to war with Pocatello, that's for sure. But with artillery it should be doable. I might actually go for autocracy. I'm not sure if I can win any other way than via domination victory in this game. And if I'm going to do that, I'm going to need a lot more science. Autocracy would be nice. I'm not sure what kind of ideology Pocatello. Am I really the second guy to get a, a, an ideology here? Huh. Well, I guess we'll find out once I'm done with my factories. Alright, I'm in the negatives right now, which is not good. I could buy gold, I could buy ivory. Do I need any of this shits? Spices. Yeah, I can't do that during... You have to do it during your own turn. Spices, spices, furs, and silver. Uh, there's resources here, but not that I can buy. Any city-state quests? Um, let's see if anyone wants me to grab... There's someone who wants me to grab silver first. Silver would be wonderful. Yeah, I could get some dip, um, a diplomatic boost with Sydney, actually. If I grab some ivory from Morocco. I think I will. Keyfish. Keyfish. What? Seriously? Don't tell me ivory is banned. No? So why am I not getting happiness then? Do I already have ivory? How? Why is my happiness not going up? Alright, fine, I'll get wine as well. You, I hate giving Pocatello more Good money, us. but I have to do something about my happiness. Alright, we need public schools now. We can't postpone it any longer, really. So let's do it. I want to buy horses. I think I can get 120, actually, for two horses. I can. So now I have 1600 gold. It's gonna be more than enough for all the upgrades I need to do. I need to play specialists on my public schools as well. That's going to be important. Oh, can I still buy universities? I think I can. Yeah, so now I'll get two Lancers. Why is the... Oh, right, I have open borders with the Celts. Ooh! Oh, fuck, I need horses. Huh. I shouldn't have sold my horses. That was a little bit ridiculous. I should have... Uh... I got two horses, just enough for the Lancers, really. I think the Celts are planning an attack, because they're marching through my borders. They're marching through Pocatello. They're, are, are they at war with Pocatello? Wow, that's a large Celtic army, actually. Oh my god, Siam lost its cap. Oh my fucking god. Alexander! Good job! Holy shit! Alexander just owned rank control face. Well, that's funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. That is really great. Alright, let's go for the public school. Holy shit, that's amazing. Alexander's gonna... Wow, Alexander's gonna become something, that's for sure. He might become the final boss of this Let's Play. What is Boudica doing? I can only imagine she's marching towards Pocatello, but she's not getting attacked, so she, she has to have open borders with him somehow. Uh, alright, she probably wants to renew that, I think. Hmm. 
Yeah, she probably wants to renew the open border deal, but I'm not sure if I want to give it to her. Seems like she's moving through Pocatello's borders already, so... Yeah, she is. I wonder what she has planned. I'm surprised Pocatello even allowed her open borders, <laughs> considering their history. Well, he is a forgiving dude, I guess. Alright. Um, let's go for a windmill, I suppose. We need production in the city. A lot of it. So yeah, windmill it is. We're actually going to get a policy in 11 turns. And I have another spy, since when? Oh right, yeah, Ram Control Phase City got captured, naturally. Um, it's very scary to spy on the tech leader, because he, he usually always have. So I think I'm actually going to spy on um, Morocco instead. Because uh, the tech leader always have a spy on counterintelligence, so that's very scary. Yeah, someone's plotting against me. I'm not surprised. I have a lot of money right now. That's great. I'll need them for unit upgrades. I'm going to have to upgrade all of these riflemen. Did I ever finish the walls in this city? Uh, I think I did. Yeah, I did. I'm really afraid of the city getting attacked, actually. It's very vulnerable. What? My rank 3 spy got killed. Oh, no. Well... I'm not actually going to be... Okay, I swear not to spy on you anymore. I'm not going to be sad about that at all, because, let's be honest, that spy gave me, like, six technologies. I mean... Alright, I have a... Oh, I'm not going to sell my horses, that's for sure. Uh, I need to continue this deal, actually. Because um, I'm going to drop into the negatives if I don't. So I'm going to continue it. Yeah, I'm not going to take away these horses, though. I am going to upgrade... This is going to cost so much money, but it's going to be worth it. Uh, did I seriously buy Coco from Alexander? Or was that just an old deal? Because I can't remember doing that. That's like way, way, way long ago. Alright. Time to upgrade. That's cost 290 gold. Upgrade, upgrade. And then we have tree. That's going to cost me how much? 230. That's not so bad, actually. Alright, then we need to buy some luxuries. Coco is okay, I suppose. We can buy Coco. Harish este. We can even trade iron for it. There we go. That's okay. And we actually need spices. So, how about two gold per turn and... Does he even value iron? He doesn't value it. Okay, well, that's kind of useless then. We do actually need iron for frigates if I plan to build frigates, so I perhaps shouldn't sell away all of it, but... I don't, I can't, well, I can actually produce fr frigates in Beijing very easily, too. Maybe I should. Maybe I should build some frigates. Upgrade them to battleships later if I got the oil for it. I got three irons. I could build three frigates, actually. Frigates are insanely strong. Very good at taking cities. I could take Agadinka with the navy. Yeah, maybe I'm not thinking out, more, uh, out of the box enough. I should probably try to take Agadinka if I, if I go to war with Pocatello, that is. That would be a very vulnerable city. Does he value iron? He does not. I don't understand why he wants open borders with me. What could he possibly gain through marching through my lands? I really don't get it. I still have plenty of money for research agreements. And we're going to get a rationalism opener next turn. Which is going to be great. I'm almost tempted to buy a public school in Gangso. That's going to cost me 1,250. That is quite expensive. How are we doing here? Wow. I think we can even afford to uh, place a specialist here, actually. I think I will. Like... I could do this. I could... Like, no, I, it's not going to grow that way. I need I need the city to grow a little bit more. Alright, let's chop some more forests. And we, pu we pu purchased a university in the cities. So that's great. That is fantastic. Pocatello has declared war on Boudica. Oh, fuck. Shit is going down. I do believe there was a large Celtic army marching through here just a moment ago. If there was a time to declare war on Pocatello, it probably would be now. Should I do it? 
I lose so many trade routes. All right, two people have uh, adopted uh, autocracy. Maybe I should go with freedom then. I'll get public opinion to hell though. Okay, who's who's generating the most culture or tourism? Uh, Greece and Greece is autocracy. Maybe I should just go autocracy then. Two early tenants is very very tempting, but. I'm going to get pressured, and I'm going to lose so much shits. No matter what I pick here, I'm kind of boned. I'll get a large boost with Genghis Khan and Alexander, but if I pick Order, I'm going to get a large boost with Pocatello. I don't care about Pocatello, though. I think it's going to... like If I pick Freedom, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get so much unhappiness. It'll see, it's not even going to be funny. So I, I think I'm going to have to go for Autocracy here. It's really no other way. I have to do it. We have to go for public schools here. I am working actually the workshop and I'm tempted to place a specialist here and here as well just to speed that up. I'm gonna chop even more forest and now I can't purchase any more universities, sadly. So I think it's gonna have to be a pagoda instead. We should totally be working these tiles, but that's going to cause the city to cease growing. So, again, I guess we shouldn't. The Genghis Khan loves me now, since I'm into autocracy. It's actually really tempting to, to go to war no, no, right now. Um, I'm actually going to decline that. Because I, I think the research agreements gets broken when you when you go declare war on someone. Ooh. But I have a de oh fuck I, I need to denounce him if I if I want uh, to to declare war on him. Does he have any allies? Global politics. Let's take a look at it. He is allied with Sydney and Valletta. He's friends with me, but he denounced Greece and he's at war with the Celts. I can wait eight more turns for the uh, declaration of friendship to wear off. Then I can denounce him. Then I won't get an oathbreaker penalty. That might just be a very smart thing to do. And I need Oxfords right now. I can't delay it any longer. I could actually use Oxfords to gain dynamites. That would actually be kind of cool. I could not... Yeah, I think I will actually. I'll go for military science. And then I'll probably start working on electricity. Oh my god, Alexander just got the Eiffel Tower. That's not good. Yeah, I'm going to use Oxford University to gain dynamites. And I'm gonna build some uh, artillery and then declare war on uh, Pocatello. I have a lot of things I need to build, actually. Uh, which means I should probably take my trade routes elsewhere. Maybe exchange them for sea trade routes? Maybe? Or internal trade routes? At any rate, they're going. They're, they're all gonna go away once I declare war, so... Yeah, it's time to get an armory here. Uh, observatory would probably be nice, though. But I need I need to produce units now. So, anyway, I think it's time to uh, to take a break. Um, please consider leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this patch. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.